What is up guys, Jane Poop here, back with more Resident Evil, and in the last video, we have tackled on uh, the second half of the game with Chris Redfield, uh, that is uh, going through the courtyard and the guardhouse and um, uh, uh, doing some math with the breaking chambers and uh, then going back into the house after, after beating Plant 42 to go through the mansion and beat the snake up again and then, and then try to fix the elevator by getting the battery in and then uh, rising the water up. In this video, we're going to access the area after you rise the water up and get the elevator working. So you need to you need to both uh, make the elevator work and rise the water back up in order to go through this uh, final part of the game. So yeah, here we go. Down we go. So as you can see, there's something in there, so that means we have to get uh, something in the mansion to get there. And then we go here, there's a ladder, will you descend from it? Yes, we will. And then, again, we go through this door, because this is the underground part, and this is like the last part of the game. So, oh, there we go, this time we get something here. This is the flamethrower. And you can see it did something there. Um, I don't know what it does. I forgot what it does. Uh, you can only use this with Chris. You cannot find this with Jill, I don't think. So here, we... Um, oh, there's some more things here. Um, or oh, more shotgun shells, of course. Yeah, no more 69-ing. <laughs> Alright. No, no, no! Uh, we want this. Uh, it's just um, first aid spray. Okay, not bad, but okay. Uh, go through here. Let's go through this door. Let's see if we can find something. And then get a cutscene. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! Uh, hell. Umbrella. Who is it? I is someone there? <laughs> Double crosser? What did he mean by that? Couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. Oh. Oh, we cannot. <laughs> it's just a clip anyway. We don't really need that. Okay. Oh, there's a hunter. In fact, I should use my um, flamethrower, actually. Okay. I'll get my flamethrower ready. We'll use that uh, in this part. Oh, there's another here. And then there's something on the floor. It's a crank. So we definitely need it. And yeah, the flamethrower... It looks like it has a lot of ammo, but not really, because it's basically... Um, well, it, it it's just how it works. Oh, there's another hunter there. Let's burn it to death. There we go. I think that's the best way to kill hunters without wasting our ammo. We'll do that instead. Uh, until it runs out, it, it's nearly run out. Alright, here we go. There we go. And we'll put it back. We put down the flamethrower, yeah. Because I think that unlocks, I think I think it's because it, un it locks the door when you pull it off. So, I think that's why. So... At least, um, we could go through here. Uh, save point there if you need to save. Uh, for real. Um, so let's go here. And then, uh, turn this over. So we can get across. There we go. Let's 
and then we go for here. There's a flamethrower there as well in case we need it. In fact, I'll use it. And this crank is not the same as the one we used before, so you cannot use your old one, for example. So again, there's a boulder here, and we want to run to the to where we to where we went from. We want to be fast. We go here. There you go. This is so you don't get crushed. We got this music. Oh, a hunter appeared. Okay. Was it meant to be something? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, uh, I will get it later, I guess, then. Alright, let's burn it to death! There we go, lovely, I love burning things. I don't remember this music playing. Or well, it could be me, I don't know. Oh, but there is something here. Oh, it's a massive spider! Let's, uh, burn it. Okay, I'm poisoned, okay. Okay. Okay, I can't really shoot it. With that, so I'm gonna have to... No. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to use that, even though... It won't kill my poison, but still. But again, we have the blue herbs, so... So at least we can have that as our advantage. Right, I think we're gonna burn this. Or not. We're gonna have to come back here. Because we will need our knife. I think. Um, and I don't think there's a... No, there isn't, so... <laughs> Sounds like a laser gun or something. Okay, I'll put that down. Um, we'll get that thing from there. So the spiders won't be in there now, so... Uh, oh, it's Magnum Ammo. Okay. Right, let's go back. There we go. There we go, lovely. Yeah, there was something shining there. So it's another knife. Um, you can bring the other one in as well, but if you don't have it, then you'll have to do this. So yeah. It doesn't work when you do it diagonally. You have to do it straight forward. There we go. So here we go. Let's go through the door. And, uh, is there anything back there? Oh, I think that's the save room, of course, yeah. So we can heal ourselves. Uh, not only that, but also... Uh, heal ourselves from the poison, so... Yeah, we'll use the... Uh, uh, magnum now, I'd say. Okay, we'll put that away. We'll use that. Uh, we'll use this. So we're not only healing ourselves, but also uh, completely take poison away from us. And then ink ribbon. So then we can put that away. So I can combine that. Uh, there we go. And then I can put this away. So we might need that later, who knows. Uh, there we go. Okay, we don't need this, obviously, so... We just have uh, no herbs other than blue, it seems like. Aside from the mixed ones, uh, one mixed one as well. Um... Okay. Uh, I think that'll be it for now. Well, aside from that, um, this we'll need. 
Okay, there we go. So then it, we have root that. Okay. There we go. Lovely. We'll put this away. Why not? Because we don't need that. We will need to come back here later for the uh, coins, but... In fact, we'll put this away now. In fact, we won't use... Um... Our Magnum yet. We'll wait until later. And then we'll use it. So... So then it saves time, so... And the amount of things we'll need, so... We'll come back for it. And of course, the snake's here. So there might be a few more items we need, so... Uh, what's over here? Looks like a hook. I bet we can. No, we need to take the flamethrower through. Uh, luckily, that's easy, though, so... Yeah. Yeah, you cannot take the flamethrower in other places. Uh, if you want to, then you would have to hack the game. So, well, I think you, I think there are cheat codes to use the flamethrower anywhere, but uh, I'm not really sure about that. So, uh, we'll get this flamethrower. So then, the other doors will be locked, but uh, that that's expected since we don't really need to use uh, the flamethrower. So, uh, we don't really need to go back. Since this is the last part of the game, this is where we need to continue. So, yeah. Okay, um. Go through, and then we'll put. Uh, there's nothing in the flamethrower. It doesn't matter if anything's in the flamethrower, by the way. Uh, it, it's the flamethrower itself that weighs it, that weighs it, even if there's nothing in there. And it's empty. So, don't really matter. Um. Right, that way is the boulder. That's where we need to use the crank. So we need to run again. Yeah, we need to run. Run, run, run! There we go. Nice. So we can go behind. It's a map of the underground. Will you take it? Yes. Uh, we definitely want that. And there's a Mo disc here. We'll definitely need that for later. Uh, then we need to use the crank here, uh, I believe, three times. There we go. We need to use that three times here. So then, so we can go through a different area. So we need to use it again. We need to use it three fucking times. Yes. Yeah, you have to wait a long time. Okay. At least you can like take a sip of your drink while this while you wait for this. If you're thirsty or something, that then you have to have a drink beside you, but yeah. Um Okay, let's uh go here. Uh, oh yeah, this I remember. We need to push this. God, this music's awesome. Then. Okay, what? Seriously? I can. But what? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. It only works in a certain position. Come on. So then it pushes that. Uh, I don't think we need to push it. Uh, we need to use the crank again to push it. So as long as it pushes this. Like, I kind of wish there was an option to pull items as well. I don't know. Uh, I forgot if other Resident Evil games did that. I know 2 and 3 and Code Veronica didn't. I don't, but I don't know if 4, 5 and 6 did. Or seven. I don't know about Village, of course, because I haven't played that. But so, or even the Resident Evil spin-offs that are like this. Yeah, the Doom Book Two, the Book of Doom. Okay. So then we get this medal. Do 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 do. Uh, what medal was it called? The Wolf Medal. That's it. And so we'll go through here again. Uh, there's 
nothing else behind there. So we can put that crank away. So yeah, that way. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll... I'll put the wolf medal on now, so then when I go back, so that, so, because there's also some herbs here that I want to save, so, uh, we'll, um, get them as well. I don't know if there's a lot, though. So along with saving the herbs, we're also, uh, backtracking for other things, so we'll put that on first. I think it's this one, this one goes on. Yeah, it is. Then the other one is the gold one. Um, and why the fuck not? We'll just combine these together. And then a blue. To make a different colour. And we'll come back for this blue. In fact, no, we don't have to. We can, because we can combine that and then... And then we can uh, grab it. There we go. We've got all the herbs here. So now I'll go back and then get the gold medal and then regress through there. Okay, here we go. And in fact, in fact, I won't use the magnum until like the very end, I'd say. Uh, so let's say uh, if we're up to the final boss and we'll use the magnum there. Uh, so, yeah. I forgot there were snakes here. Uh, so, I'll wait until that. So then we can put the things away. Not just the herbs, but also the uh, crank. And get the metal. Right. Uh, put that away. We'll need... Uh, the eagle metal, that's it. And we'll put this away. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'll keep that, actually, in case I want to heal myself. We've got tons of blue herbs in here. Oh, my God. Jesus. We have blue herb collection. In case we get poisoned really bad. I don't know. Okay. Go up. And then we'll put that uh, medal on. In fact, we just needed to get the medal because I, I think as soon as, as soon as after this, after this part, we automatically go into another um, item room. So <laughs> we didn't really need to put things away. Uh, it don't matter anyway. It saves time. So. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'll ever speedrun the Resident Evil games too much. Like, I do try to speedrun uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6. Since, uh... Since there are, like, achievements of uh, beating them fast or extra things you do by beating certain levels fast. So, yeah, I do technically try and speedrun Resident Evil 5 and 6, but... I've never tried to speedrun the other ones too much. Like, I do try to beat them as fast as possible, but I don't actually speed speedrun them. Uh, there's a ladder down there, yeah, and this automatically takes us to an item room. So we didn't really need to uh, go through stuff, but it don't matter. Uh, so we'll go through here. We will need some MO discs, but we'll get them back later. We'll come back for them, because there's a few other things we need to do. Including killing this zombie by shooting his head. There we go. Oh, and there's more herbs here. I'll come back for them as well. I uh, won't need them now. In fact, I, I can combine these together, and if I take damage, then I can use them. Then we'll have this one. Unless I'm poisoned, then I'll use the other one. Alright, here we go. Um... It's gonna be another zombie here, yeah. Oh, yeah, I took damage, so... Well, I guess not too much, so... Uh, it's not really enough for... <laughs> I didn't even combine it. Wow. Um, combine them now, actually. Yes. I don't know why it gives you a prompt to do it, because in other games it doesn't do that. 
it doesn't prompt you if you want to. Oh, are you really sure you want to combine them? Well, at least in Resident Evil 2 and 3 and Code Veronica, but I don't remember it. Uh, uh okay. Now, these zombies, unlike, un oh, wow. Um, unlike other zombies, these ones do come back once you kill them. So these are very different zombies. Uh, once again, we need to go in this door and it's for a computer that has a password that we need to enter. Uh, and I remembered what it is now. And there's something here. So we'll get that. Uh, no, not that side. There's nothing that side. So we need to go on the... The Umbrella! The w Umbrella XP? No, not, no, no, not really. Windows XP didn't exist when this game came out. But rather, the Umbrella 95, or 98, depending. Um, this is where you want to enter a password. So the login, uh, I think it's guessed again. Oh, wait, no, it's... Um, uh, so the login is John. And then the password is Ada. Yeah, again, this is the reference to Resident Evil 2. I think it's that, anyway. Yes, yes, uh, I'm correct, okay. Uh, secret floor. Or, uh, a secret floor, select floor, I mean, not secret floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine if there was a secret floor. And we'll want to enter another password. This time it's Mole. I don't know if that's a reference to another game in the series, but... Or maybe another Capcom project, but who knows. Yep, we got them right. Okay. Yeah, win. In fact, if I got it wrong, I should have looked at what Chris's pissed off moment looked like. But it's too late. Then we'll enter that, and then both floors are unlocked. So we can go in those doors now. So now... So now we could just leave. There we go. Log off of Umbrella 95 and then boom. <laughs> and because we've got one MO disc already, we might as well I might as well put it somewhere. Oh, oh zombie! Go away, zombie. Okay. Can we go through there? No. Let's tighten the locks. What about this door? No. One, two, three, boom! Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. I'll use that, why not? Oh yeah, because there's another area where we use the tape. Um, and it's like around here, so... Go around here. Go in this door first. Uh, we need to turn the light on, of course. Uh, is there anything in the sink again? So use this recently. Oh my god. It's disgusting. Probably to wash their hands. Oh yeah, that's just the password, uh, but we don't need that now. John, Ada. <laughs> yeah, it's a reference to the second game. Uh, there's that there. What is this here? Nothing. Uh, what's over here? picture. Oh yeah, it's just uh, something. I don't know if this is useful though. Because we hit that, we hit the switch here and then it will and then it'll finally say some words. But I don't know if this is actually useful at all. So I don't think it is. Oh, it's just some clips in here. Splendid. Was there two or three in here? There was two. Okay. Alright, then after we use the MO disc, then we'll go back to our item box, and then... Uh, we'll go back to our item box, and then... Alright, there we go. Zombie! Lovely, whoa, okay. One, two, three, boom! One, two, three, boom! Well, what is that here? Facts. Okay. We send some faxes. 
Alright. One, two, three, boom! Lovely. Again, this weird picture again. I don't know who that's supposed to be. It looks like uh, Tomb Raider's Lara Croft, but I don't know if it is. Um, oh, there we go. This is where you use the MO discs. On these things, passcode one. And then you would show it to uh, uh, in front of one of the doors. Nothing special. Is there anything here? Most of them are fiction books. Okay. Um, so there's nothing, aside from that disc thing, there's nothing else in here. So we don't need to go back in here at all. Um, so we can just go back to... Uh, in fact, there was another room that we needed to... Oh, unless we've opened it from upstairs. Uh, it's where we need to put that um, the slides thing in. So... It's like a circle tape. <laughs> Even though tapes are circles. But, you know, you get the point. They're not like tapes you would think. Not like VHS tapes. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is the room. All right. Put this slides in. Umbrella ink bioweapon materials. The MA39 Cerberus. Fee free Neptune. MA121 Hunter. T002. Or no, T002 Tyrant. Uh, fucking nothing. Bioweapon Research Institute. R&D staff. And oh my god. One is Wesker. It looks like Wesker. We don't know if it is actually Wesker though. Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. Okay, I believe there was something here. Security system, okay. There's nothing else. Is there anything? Oh, there is something here. That's a panel. Will you open it? There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. For something else we need. Well, I think we need. And it's a key. We'll definitely need that. So now let's go back and get those MO discs. We can put those clips away as well. So here we go. Alright, here we go. Here we go! In fact, we'll combine them, of course, and then. 205. Lovely! Mo discs, there we go. So then we can use them. Alright, here we go. Like, I could just imagine, uh, if you need to, uh, if you don't need to use the key, a key anymore, and it tells you to discard it, I kind of wish you could use the key to, like, throw at a zombie or something, and then try to kill them that way. But no, you can't do that. I kind of wish you could. Um, one of these doors should be unlocked now. Oh, there we go. Uh, one of these doors. It's locked from the inside. I think it's this door we unlocked. Yes, there we go. We don't need to use it again. It's pointless now. We'll combine that. There we go. Okay, here we go. There's a zombie there. One, two, three. Boom! And there's another one right here. Boom! And one more over here. And there's another item room in there in case you'll need it, uh, which we might do later on. So, we'll go through. Yeah, there are some things where we need to put the discs on anyway, so, yeah. So, we might still be able to get a few items through here. There is a few enemies through here, though. Yeah, these things. Which are basically top hunters. Um, will you activate. Yes. Well, we might take a lot of damage here, but again, we have those, we have that herb, so we can at least heal ourselves still. We'll go through here because there's something. 
Uh, I'm still fine. Okay. Oh no! Get out of my way. Oh, it's the door. Okay. I think I was going the wrong way, but... I believe there's something here. Uh, this. Will you connect it? Yes. Power for the elevator is activated as the power supply. So it has been connected. Okay. So we can use the elevator now, but we're not going to yet. Now it's the computer. It's a triggering system. It's quite big. There's nothing else we need to do here. Alright, we can leave. Uh, how much health have I got? Um, still fine. So we need to stay in here for a bit to get that term. Uh, not only to avoid these, but oh, oh shit! Um, hope I don't die here. Um, right, it's down here we go. And then it's right here where we use the MO disc. Passcode three. Uh, we need to find the second one. Oh whoa! That was that was an incredible dodge. <laughs> okay. So then this area is out of the way. There's nothing else in here, so we can leave at this room. Didn't even kill any of those enemies at all. Right, let's go back in the item room. Look, Chris, get in there. There we go. What did she ask? Okay. Oh, there's a blue herb here. Right, now I'm caution. So might as well use that herb. So I'll use that herb now. There we go. I'm fully fine. It's green up. We'll combine these two, actually. So then... Uh, what's here? Is that ink ribbon? No, it's more magnum ammo. Okay. There we go. We'll combine the herbs. There we go. And then what I'll do is... Uh, do I need anything else? Not really, so we'll just, I'll just put these there. Then I can combine them when I get out. Uh, we still need that MO disc, so I think it's for the other side of an, another side of another room, so. We can go through one room and then uh, uh, the room is this room specifically. Here we go. And then uh, yeah, it's this room. This room is total bullshit. Oh, there's red herb here, and I, I don't remember a red herb being here. Maybe it's only there in Chris's playthrough. I don't know. Or maybe it's the difficulty. Who knows? I don't know. Um, okay, we'll push these. So, then we'll push this. Uh, Chris, push it! There we go. And we push that. Then what I'll do is... In fact, no, uh, we'll have to... Can I squeeze through that? No, I can't. Alright. I'll have to go through around this push that so then it's pushable there and go around and, uh, up until here uh, I need to push that fully as well uh, well maybe not fully I can uh, uh, Chris what the fuck are you doing all right enough there so then I'll right, we'll have to walk around because if you hit, if you touch the switch, it will, it will activate. So you gotta be careful. Okay. Push the fucking. Are you? What the fuck? Are you serious? I have to push that more, I guess. Oh my god. I have to push that fully then. There we go. I'll push that until there. The Chris don't. If I can squeeze through, there we go. And then we push 
this. Push this all the way there. Then I can access it from there. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. So then, uh, none of the gas will come out because if you do push it while the while, either when the the blocks are not there or if they are there but they're not positioned properly, gas will come out and you'll want to get out of the room immediately. Otherwise, you'll die. Uh, there we go. Now we go air shaft. Okay. So we're here. There's something glowing here. Oh, more magnum ammo. Yes, we definitely want that. Uh, for our magnum later on. In fact, after this, I'll I'll change my shotgun to the magnum. Because uh, I feel like we don't really need the shotgun after this. Um, we'll use the magnum. So, yeah. You've unlocked it. We region unlocked it. Lovely. So then it's this room right here. Kill these zombies, even though we don't really need to kill them because obviously they come back anyway. Uh, we'll go through here and then we'll get that door first before going to the elevator, let's say. Go here. Okay. It kind of sounds like when. Um, it kind of sounds like the sound effect of when you kill all enemies and then the door activates in Metroid Zero Mission a bit. Maybe they taken it from maybe the devs of Metroid Zero Mission taking it from Resident Evil. I don't know. Chris. Jill. Chris, where's he is? I know. Shoot! It doesn't open. Look, Jill. Wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. Okay. But we don't know what Wesker is, though. <laughs> There's no hint. So... <sighs> so then what we need to do is... We need to go back. There's more zombies here. Yeah, there is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not expecting that. There we go. And then... Shoot him there. Okay, there we go. No, 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 not check. I'm trying to combine. Even though I don't really need to, but, eh, whatever. As we don't need the shotgun anymore, we can just, uh, use the, uh, magnum now, so... We'll use that instead. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, uh, oh, there we go, yeah. So we'll replace our shotgun with the Magnum. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't know if I'll need this red herb. Uh, do we have any... Uh, we have... Okay, we'll just put it away. Why not? In fact, we'll get one of those. And we'll use that. Actually, we can use the red herb there. And then... There we go. So then, what we can do... <laughs> so then we'll heal ourselves if we take too much damage. And then we'll use all that. So, no, 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 I don't want to fucking check. There we go. I just want to combine these. So I got, well, I got a lot of ammo uh, for the Magnum. So then we're going to go up the elevator. And I'm using the Magnum because the mag the Colt Python, or which is a Magnum, is very powerful. There's no reaction. Oh, yeah, we have to hit the switch first. There we go. Then the elevator works. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. 
Then we go up the elevator XDR. I wonder what new disc brand that will be in the future. <laughs> I don't know. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my star's team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move! If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. And what is it? Hmm, Wesker was evil all alone. Well, of course, the tyrant. This time it's the same cutscene, but it's Chris's model instead of Jill's. That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it! Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Go to hell. Jill will join you too. What? Don't come this way! No! <laughs> there we go, Whiskers dead! Because he was evil all along. But spoilers, he's in other games. So he's not properly dead. Can't kill me. Because, yeah, we're fighting the tyrant again. Oh, wait, why is the... Oh, because it's not been equipped! Oh my god. Alright, here we go. We want to... Okay, so it's the same fight again. We're just uh, shooting the tyrant a few times. Oh my god. The Magnum is so powerful that we killed him in like three hits. Okay then. But we'll find his final form later on. It's electronically... Lo oh, we have to do something else before we can... Let's try and look at Wesker. What a miserable death. <laughs> but spoilers, he's in later games. He's some of the later games, so... Unless the storyline is following Jill's story... Uh, then... Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we can get out. Wow! Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. He is not sleeping with him. He was killed <laughs> by him. So, yeah. Yeah. 
He was just, uh, killed. He was not sleeping with him. Well, unless his body is so powerful. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set up a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Don't get killed. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, now, um, now we need to go back to Jill and see if we can save her. Okay, so Rebecca activated the bomb, so... Oh, whoa, there's these enemies now. And you automatically face the wall, Chris. Why? So we need to save Jill first, and then we'll leave. Because if we don't leave Jill, then we might get the a shit ending. A bad ending. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Then we get a wonderful scene. Jill! Sorry for making you wait. Chris! I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. I like how uh, th those body animations don't happen in Jill's story, but it happens here. So now we need to... Like, I'm not sure what it is. Is it... A love thing or something? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, not that they love each other, but... I'm not sure, actually. Let's get going. Yes. And again, why is the Magnum unequipped? I just fucking equipped it whenever I was fighting the fucking tyrant. And then you fucking unequipped it. What the fuck? Alright. Oh wait, no, not this way. <laughs> no, it's this way. Okay, here we go. Then, all oh, the zombies here. One, two, three, boom! Yeah, headshot in the face! Lovely! One, two, three, boom! Here we go. Let's get going! But before that, I need to get something out of my item box. Before we do that. <laughs> um, in fact, I'll use that up first. So then, we're using it for... For a lot of sprays! Except I'll put these blue herbs in place of the... of them. So, here we go. A lot of first aid sprays. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, that'll do. We'll leave it like that, it don't matter. Okay. I don't think... In fact, we'll take it just in case, the increment. So here we go. We've only got three herbs... Uh, three herbs. Uh, uh, potions. Uh, potions. Uh, first aid sprays. But that's fine. We don't really need a lot. We're fighting the tyrant again anyway. Which doesn't take too much yet. And he's so easy in this difficulty. So, yeah. Now we can go in this door because it was locked before. Then, we progress uh, further. And then. This is Brad. I have a fuel shortage. Okay, this is the last try. If somebody's alive, please send a sign. Oh, wait, though. Because we need to get something. Yeah, we need that, <laughs> and we can't, oh no, oh my god, I just realised that now, hold on, let me go back, 
and put something away. At least we can do that. If we go further, then, then we get a cutscene with a timer, so at least there's that. We'll keep the increments, though. I don't know if we need them to actually save at the end, but just in case, we'll take them. Because I forgot if we do, we need to. We'll put, we'll put the first aid spray away. Okay. Okay, we'll just, uh... I guess I will rearrange this, then. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's a ladder, we... Yes. Especially because there's something else we get after this, so... Alright, let's go in there again. Okay, here we go. Pick this up. And then, yeah, we need that. Then, use that and then boom! We get a cutscene. There is three minutes until explosion. I made it! I set up the triggering system to the bomb! Great! Rebecca! Brad's up in the helicopter! Yes, I should. Oh, you automatically move to the elevator. We don't need to move ourselves. Alright, in that case, go up the elevator. We have basically three minutes on the clock. Well, it might be two minutes at the moment, but still. <laughs> okay, um, okay, that's enough making sounds. Okay. Uh, then there's this we need here. It's a flare. We will need that. So then we go in the middle. Uh, I'll also uh, combine those together. There we go. And we use that, and then boom. So we basically have two minutes to fight this boss. Okay. This is the finale, guys. This is it. Hopefully we can finish Resident Evil 1. Okay, the Tyrant is here, and because of our Magnum, it's so powerful, it can hit him in a few hits. Oh my god, you gotta run away as well. <laughs> Otherwise you get hit like that. Oh my god. Otherwise that happens as well. Okay. Right, we have one more, uh, oh! Okay. Oh, oh, we get hit like that. Oh my god, he's running for us. Oh no! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Oh my fucking god. Okay. Come on! Oh my god! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Yes, that's it. Here we go. Then we equip this. Whoa! Right, I best run away first. Okay, there we go. Equip it. And then. Good! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Yay! We've done it! We have finished Resident Evil 1! Yes! We have fully finished Resident Evil 1, guys. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah.
and we get the best ending. With Jill on uh, Chris's uh, shoulder. She probably wants to be with Chris a lot. To continue the Redfield lineage. No, 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 I'm not referencing all that. Oh my god. That's a whole other story. If you want to know about the Redfield lineage, just look it up on YouTube. You'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. This and that is the original Resident Evil. Ah, oh, yes, we finally finished it. Well, the very first one, anyway. The original. Well, technically, this is another version of the original, but still, it's still the original. It's not the remake or remaster, so. So, yeah. Even though it's not the best credits, but still. Do -do 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 Resident Evil is the great horror. Back in 96, it is the best of them all. Resident Evil Biohazard. <laughs> okay. This is the greatest horror back in the 90s Along with the others that were popular on the PlayStation This is the best PlayStation Resident Evil Along with the sequel And a lot of games are the best they are really awesome to this day. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is a longer credits, of course, because, um... Uh, it's the DualShock version credits and not the better ones, the montage. Uh, both the Jill and Chris ones, which are different, along with the, the secret death montage, where it shows each of the characters getting killed and what in a variety of ways. Not just the characters, even the enemies as well. Showing them getting killed in a variety of ways as well. Which is surprising. And then we're gonna get the Japanese ending theme. Which I prefer the most than the other, but still, they're both good. The end theme's not Tempest, that is wrong. They should have edited that. That is it. And it's just Chris in the city 
all three hours this time, not four hours. No saves at all. Well, technically, we did save states, but still, it doesn't count as normal saves. Wow. Um, okay. What a tough guy. You've closed this case completely. What does that mean? You've got the special key. Find closet. Yeah, this is about the room that we could not enter. Yeah, we can save here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna save because you can overwrite the save, but but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna gonna use the separate slot, slot two, for Chris. There we go. Because I prefer using separate slots for. Um, <coughs> oh boy, that was a good burp. <laughs> right as the Capcom logo was about to appear, and oh wow. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if that's Chris Redfield uh, going through the hallway. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, but... Okay, so yeah. Uh, that is Resident Evil 1, then. Evil. Yeah, the classic um, voice. Um, so, yeah. So we got both of these slots now. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, so that is Resident Evil 1. Now, there are a couple of bonuses, but uh, I cannot be bothered to show them off. Not because I'm lazy, but uh, it, it takes too much research. Because some of the bonuses in this game are exclusive to the Sega Saturn version. And one of those things is Battle Mode. Battle Game. And what that is, uh, similar to Code Veronica, uh, the Saturn version of Resident Evil 1 uh, also has a Battle Mode, uh, where... You have a time limit, and you have to, I think, escape in the time limit. But also, in one of the rooms, you can also find a zombified version of Wesker. Which is kind of cool, and I don't know why I did that. But, uh, who knows. Um, I don't really need to do that. I could just select it from there. There we go. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you would find a zombified version of Wesker in the Saturn version. Which takes tons of it. So, yeah. And then there's also a few other bonuses, like, of course that room, but you'll have to look it up soon. Al along with other videos. I could show them off, actually, because this video uh, is not too, is, it doesn't seem too long as the others, so in order to extend it, I might as well include the other videos, like the bad ending video and all that. Um, the bad ending videos. Uh, uh, maybe both the Japanese and English versions, because uh, one of Chris's bad endings, uh, he smokes in the Japanese version, but in the English version, uh, you just see close-ups of its face. I might show both of them, actually. So, yeah, that is uh, the original Resident Evil. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching this series. Um, so, next time, we will do uh, Resident Evil 2 after this, uh, which is probably my favourite out of the trilogy. And Code Veronica, of course. Um, I still don't know what the code is, so I just mash buttons to get it. Um, so, yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Jane Poop out. See you guys next time. Bye!
did a really good job. But this case was just too weird. This case was... Always wait up for me, even uh, today. Uh, my oldest daughter. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. I know he must still be alive. 